special subcommittee established by uh, Chairman Reinders, and the bill is, has broad support from Secretary of State's office, really across the, the spectrum of, of players. Um, made a couple small tweaks to this. Um, we believe are non-controversial tweaks based on some of the debate and discussion in the Senate. And uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd be glad to stand for questions. Is there any questions of the author of the bill, Mr. Turner? I don't know if, okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I have a question about section 16. It's uh, starting at lines 379 on page 12. It has to deal with risk limiting audits. Risk limiting audits have a risk limit defined by nature. And I, as I'm searching through this, and maybe I've missed it, is there, what is the risk limit that we're setting? This uh, bill, has the State Board of Elections established that? Uh, I personally believe that uh, we, we can achieve a higher level than is even contemplated in other bills. Other bills have talked about 90%. I think we could perhaps get to 95% depending on the circumstance, but I'm not going to define in statute what the risk li limiting audit standard is. I think that's something that's technical in nature. I think it's best established by the Board of Elections. So is it your, your stance that 50% uh, would be okay? I mean, is there, is there no limit um, that is not acceptable? I think we've, we, I believe this bill strikes the balance of prescribing things the Board of Elections must make happen. Um, that is, the, the audit be done before the vote certified. Um, that ensures that all ballots, absentee, provisional, and others are included in the audit. Um, and that it, they be done in, done in public view. The things like that that are performance standards, I believe it's our job as a legislature to establish. I don't believe the technical details are dependent on us. I think that's why we have a Board of Elections. You don't, you don't see, but that didn't really answer my question, I'm sorry. So I'll ask again. You don't see that there's some level that is not acceptable as, as a member of the legislature? No, I absolutely believe there's a certain level of a risk limiting audit that is too low of a threshold. That's the question. There's, there's absolutely some level that if the Board of Elections were to set it, I would say, Representative Sester believes that's too low. But I do believe it's inherently their job to pick those technical details, not ours. We've set forth a process by which risk limiting audits must be conducted. We've set some performance standards that I think are essential, i.e., these audits must be done before the vote's certified. All ballots have to be included. I think that's <coughs> the right level of detail for us as legislators. So what is too low for you, Chairman Sessler? It's not really, a, it's my contention that it's not up to us as legislators to establish this too low, this too high. Uh, I believe it's inherently a technical detail based on st statistical models from which risk lim limiting audits come, and I think it's not our job to establish that. I, I couldn't disagree with that sentiment more, uh, knowing the nature of risk limiting audits. Um, I think it is within the purview of the General Assembly to set a, an absolute minimum. I think if you if you don't, then uh, there the, the meaning and effectiveness of risk limiting audits um, becomes uh, almost without in consequence, and uh, I th it it is. It certainly is a technical detail, and I'll give you that, but uh, we're talking about our elections and having confidence in our elections. This is, you know, we learned through uh, a lot of testimony in a different committee about the, the importance of process in combination with technology, and this risk limiting audit is that process that builds a confidence in the, in the, the results. Without setting a risk limiting audit risk limit, you're, you're you're really just making a, a recommendation. You're not actually saying anything. And if there, if it would be appropriate, I'd like to make an amendment at the appropriate time, Mr. Chairman. Any other questions of the author of the bill? Hearing none, is there a motion regarding the bill? There's a due pass, there's a second. Mr. Um, Turner, did you want to make an amendment? I, I do, th thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I would like to amend Tell us where you are, what page? Yep, I'm looking at page 12. I'm just trying to figure out which line I'd like for it to, to be. And, and, and Jeff, the Legislative Council, I'll make it easy on you. If you look at LC 288598, I don't know if you have access to HB 680. I'm not talking to, talking to Jeff and Ledge Council. The, the actual language I'd like to um, insert starts in that bill at line 786 and goes through 790.
and I'd like to insert that between 404 and 405 just for consistency yes sir I think that does make sense could you read the language? I don't, I don't have it in front of me. Representative. The language is for each con, con uh, for each contest election being audited, the state election board, which is who you would like to have empowered here, in conjunction with the local election superintendents, shall set a risk limit no larger than 10 percent, while providing a minimum 90 percent chance of detecting and correcting a, a result where the outcome of the original tabulation is is inconsistent with the election outcome obtained by conducting a full recount. Mr. Chairman, if it makes peace, I don't oppose that. I don't want a detailed structure. I think that's a small ad. I don't, that, that's, that's the threshold I think is appropriate. I didn't think it was essential for the bill, but if it's the pleasure of the committee, I wouldn't oppose that. Any discussion? I just want to hear Let's count. say second amendment again. <laughs> Let's count. So do you have the amendment as Mr. Turner wants it? Okay. Okay. All right. Any other discussion regarding the Turner Amendment? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? It's in. Any other questions to the author or any amendments? Chair will call the final question. Um, House Bill 64848, LC 2888812S is amended by the Turner Amendment uh, by substitute. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? The bill passes the rules. Thank you.